Okay. Hey, at least we're in We've winter now. No calls in the past hour, which means you're all either partying or sleeping. Both of which I respect. I gotta say though, if you haven't tried spending New Year's Eve locked in a small room talking to yourself, I highly recommend it. Honestly. I might do this every year. Hey there, you're live on KRCT and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Hey, it's Gabe. Oh, hey, Gabe. It's everyone's favorite bartender. So, what are your resolutions and how many have you already broken? Yeah, um, I was actually hoping to get your take on one of them. Oh, boy. Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to the psychic. Oh. All right. What's on your mind? There's... Someone in my family who might be totally alone right now. I've been thinking of reaching out to her. The thing is... Oh? It's been seven years. And all that time I never got in touch. Maybe you weren't ready yet. Maybe if you had, it wouldn't have helped either of you. No, look, the truth is I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me. And honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So I'm calling you to ask, what's going to happen if I contact her? What's she going to say? You know I'm not actually psychic, right? Come on, Steph, don't break kayfabe. Live okay. the gimmick, sister. Give me a second. Ooh. Guess what? It's looking bright. Seriously? What would be super good for Gabe? Honest conversation. Kind of like the one we ended up you having at the out. end of episode one. The two of you have a really tough conversation. You talk for two hours. She says all the things you were afraid she would. Your absence really hurt. For years, she thought you didn't want her in your life anymore. This is supposed to be good? When you hang up, you're exhausted. Emotionally raw. But you're also grateful. Because now you know exactly what needs to be rebuilt. And you can roll up your sleeves and get started. You admit you screwed up. And you don't try to rush anything. Gradually, she starts texting you back. Once a week. Twice a week. First thing every morning. Until one day, she sends you a screenshot of her phone history. <laughs> it's calls to Gabe all the way down. And you realize she's saying she's so happy you're back in her life. Thanks. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? That's a loaded question. Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Then I'll see you. Read ads, play songs, take calls. I'm a fully automated DJ. Wow, we kind of just breezed over winter, didn't we? Whew. All right. It is New Year's Eve, Kind Haven listeners, and that means partying, smooching at midnight, and resolutions. Call in with your New Year's resolution, and Haven's best and only radio psychic will tell you how it goes. I always get what I want, and all I 
did you know that 80% of New Year's resolutions fail? Like my resolution to stop making up bogus statistics? <laughs> All this talk of New Year's resolutions has made me realize I actually don't have one yet. We'll work on that together, Kind Haven listeners. God, I don't think I've made a New Year's resolution in fucking years. In surviving one more rotation around the sun, you have traveled 584 million miles. <laughs> so why not kick back with some KRCT? You've earned it. The ball dropping, the iconic symbol of New Year's, was initially used to help sailors tell time at a distance from the shore. This has been another episode of Steph Ruins Everything. Keep those dancing shoes and giant plastic 2019 glasses on. And don't turn that dial. You're partying with KRCT. The new year comes to the American Samoa last due to their proximity to the international dateline. So if you're feeling the need to celebrate twice, you might still have time to catch a plane. When he was 13, the famous escape artist Harry Houdini was forced to work his father's store on New Year's Eve. It was that year that he resolved to dedicate his life to getting out of things. You're listening to KRC. <laughs> wow. If you are a superstitious person, you should make sure all your bills and debts are paid before we hit midnight, as carrying over debt is seen as bad luck. So, yeah, get on that. Yeah, someone who recently paid off his student loans. Um, yeah, not all about carrying over debts. Okay, I've got one. Next year, I resolve to face things head on instead of running from them. That's my resolution. Ooh, that's a big step. Call in and tell me yours. Let's save some banter for next year. Oh yeah, KRCT has gone pro, baby. Hey, finally got the pro version of your software. Nice. I blame the holidays. Thank you for using our service. We can't wait to see how you grow in the new year. From Beatrice Goddard. Dear Steph, I wanted to take a moment to wish you a most joyful new year and, though it hardly needs to be said, acknowledge your hard work and considerable contribution to KRCT and the record traders over the last 10 months. Wow, it's already been 10 months since she fucking started the job, huh? to be chosen as Olivia's elder gay. Oh. From Olivia Rain, seeking elder gay advice. Hey, Steph, I don't know if you remember me. I called your show a few months ago about having my girlfriend over for dinner. It went super well, by the way. Oh, okay. I know we're not exactly friends, but I could use some elder gay advice, trademark. <laughs> I just found out that my girlfriend isn't out to her parents yet, and they think I'm just a friend. Ooh. I know coming out is super personal, and I don't want to push her. It's just... Finally being out is a really big a really big deal for me, and this kind of feels like a big step backwards. Don't feel like you have to get back to me or anything, but if you have any advice, I would really appreciate it. Hey Liv, of course I remember you. That's really tough. I could see why tiptoeing around your parents might feel like a step back for you. Thinking back to after I'd first come out, I would have felt the same way. If that feeling overwhelms you, then yeah, it might be time to get out. But life is long and this won't last forever. If you really like this girl and you feel like you could stick it out, I think you should try. Hope that helps. I think that's a fair bit of advice, yeah. It's like Olivia herself said, coming out is personal and, you know, maybe not everyone's in a circumstance where they can come out, you know, safely or realistically. So, you can't force that shit, you know what I mean? You gotta do it if and when you're ready. Task list, here we go. Last show of 2018. I know I say this every New Year's, but this was a fucking crazy year. My See, where am I at today? Hates this part of the job. But my inner Billy Mays loves it. Let's see. Black Lantern. New Year's Eve party. Uh, free champagne raffle with prizes provided by Char, Eleanor, etc. Tap out night. Last Thursday of every month, new brews and uh, new brews installed in our rotating dr uh, taps. Drink special. Blech. Dink specials? What? They were missing an R there, Jed. 
a Grimly's Auto Repair. I keep wanting to say Grimsley. Like, I'm thinking of Grimsley from Pokemon Black and White. I'm sorry. Happy New Year from Grimley's, and thank you to KRCT for your continued partnership. We served Haven Community Springs for 13 years, in case anyone is curious about the exact number. Wow. We're open during all major winter holidays, so get yourself the gift of safe, dependable driving. Spamp's Grocery. Spamp just sounds like something that the Game Grumps would have named one of their fucking um, Legend of Zelda pro tag names. Like, it just sounds like that. Hey Steph, love your show. We have a bit of an overstock on holiday stuff, so anything you could do to get bodies in the store would be a huge help. Holiday foods, uh, holiday foods on sale. Full size turkey, smoked ham, fresh cranberry sauce. Blowout on holiday decorations. Get ahead of next year. Wide selection of New Year's resolution friendly foods. Nice. Time to pay those bills. KRCT is brought to you by the Black Lantern, where at this very moment. There's a New Year's Rager brewing. You still have time to... Uh, win a raffle. Win one of the raffle prizes donated by local artisans. Also, Tap Out Night is the last Thursday of every month. The Lantern offers... Sorry, Jed, I'm going with what you wrote. Okay. Well, <laughs> it says here they offer dink specials. So... Head there on Thursdays to score a discount dink. Happy New Year from the Black Lantern, the beer-scented heart of Haven Springs. All right, Gabe. What did you leave out there for me? Dude, you have my copy of Sword of Dust and Daylight? Oh, yeah, lol, I totally forgot I borrowed that. Oh, thank God. So that's not technically mine. It's technically Ethan's, and he gets back from his dad's tomorrow, and, like, he'll be pissed if we can't play it together. Lol, I'll swing by with it after work. You're a total champ. Best punk band, go. X X-ray specs. Lol, you're so wrong, it's obviously the misfits. Normie says what? Best cartoon character, go. Hot dog man, correct. Wow. Best breakfast food, go. Biscuits and gravy smothered with hot sauce. How are you gonna do pancakes like that? Shaking my damn head. Look, I love a good pancake. I will go to town on a fat stack of those suckers. But let's not kid ourselves. Pancakes are a dessert food. Wow, bold claim. What? I don't even know who I'm talking to right now. They're sweet, they're sticky, they have no nutritional value. Oh, and I'm sorry, biscuits and gravy are a superfood? Whatever, you know the rules. We can only argue for 30 seconds per topic. Best place in Haven, the, uh, best place in Haven to have a picnic, go. The park? The pier, come on, man. Oh, okay, yeah, I changed my answer, lol. Okay, time out, gotta get ready for work. Yo. You checked under the front door of the shop lately? For like, I don't know, surprises left there for you by your loving and supporting buds? Oh? What did you do? Oh god, what did y'all do? Relax, it's gonna be fun! Okay, now I'm really scared. New issue is done, sick. When do I get copies for the shop? Uh, I can probably bring you some tomorrow? Heck yeah, see you then! Hey, thank you for, I don't know, Talking sense into me last night, I guess. We talked sense into each other. Well, I said basically nothing. Hard disagree. For the first time in a long time, I felt like I was actually talking to you. How are you feeling about it today? I don't know. Better? Less haunted, I guess. That's good. That's a start. So, Elamon is coming back to New Eden after this campaign is over, right? He better. There's more unexplored buildings in that one city than all of our campaigns in high school. Sure, but, like, Elamon isn't gonna crash every poor farmer's house looking for loot. I'm talking about the buildings underground. There's an underground? Wink. Oh, dang. Now that we're on the subject, are there any Elorian crystals left in Karai? I imagine so. Not many kingdoms know how to mine for them. Is this about Quixby? Maybe. <laughs> I see right through you. I just want to know if my boy Quixby is gonna use a giant fucking mech during our battle. I can't say, but if he did have an Elorian crystal, he could certainly power an exosuit with it. BRB, get to check how many healing sa uh, salves I have. Not enough, buddy. How's life in the sticks, by the way? Still thinking about splitting? Eh, I don't know. No time soon. Haven's alright. It's not like where I see myself retiring, but I like it here for now, I think. Like, I don't know, you know how horror games have safe rooms where the monsters can't get you and... 
you have a chance to heal up and reload before you go back out to blast the skulls off some more zombies? Lol. I'll take your word for it. Not my genre. Well, Haven Springs is my safe room, I think. Reload, heal up, and then back up, and then back into the big dangerous world. Good luck healing up. I wouldn't want to be the first zombie to cross your path once you do. Ch -ch Blam! Oh, this should be interesting. We got a text from Izzy. Oh, we got several texts from Izzy. Hey, hi. So I unblocked you. Yeah, you sure did, lol. Haha, <laughs> ugh. I just found this and thought you might want to copy. Oh, wow. That's a really good pick of us. Lol, I know, right? I look hot. Lol, you really do. Man, what a good day, huh? Yeah. Anyway, hit me up if you're ever back in Seattle. I will. Aw. Lisa reconnecting. And now for the group chat. Oh, wasn't that much. Okay, okay, okay. Who drew on the laser disc, Standy? Somebody drew on the laser disc, Standy? I would never. Lol, I'm not mad. This shit is hilarious. What's it say? I'll show you next time you come by the shop. It's perfect. I just noticed and about peed myself laughing. Just trying to figure. It wasn't me, man. You know I'd take credit. I cleaned up too much trail graffiti. I would have died of guilt. Char, you're being mysteriously quiet. Long live Laser Duck. Incredible. Janine from Longmont. User has an error in the tagline. Nope. Crystal from Estes Park, Rocky Mountain High. Eh. Doesn't look like we have any common interests. So, I'm gonna say no. Okay, I've gotta ask about that tagline. Oh, we didn't match. Oh, hello! Hello! Mm, Alright. User has an a tagline. No, thank you. 33 from Uthundern? How the fuck do you say that? I'm so sorry. Um... Well, I gotta give you points for using a peace sign in your profile picture. Says me, who uses selfies in most of his... I was gonna say, who uses selfies in most of his peace signs. <laughs> uh, I've been recording for four and a half hours, dude. I didn't think this was gonna be that long. God damn it. Yo, sick hair. Love it. In the world of sharks, be a dolphin. Okay, swiping right for that alone. User hasn't entered a tagline yet. That's as good a sign as any. Time to say goodbye to this app. Man, I didn't match with anybody this time. God damn. Well, that stinks. Well, gets us back to the ads. We've got a returning sponsor today, Grimley's Auto Repair, serving Haven Springs. Since emo ruled the earth. <laughs> when some of y'all were writing Fallout Boy lyrics in your aim away message, you know who you are. Oof. Grimley's I've known people who've done exactly that. <laughs> so if you crashed your car head on into Comet, Cupid, Donner, or Vixen, they're here for you. Again, that's Grimley's Auto Repair, your best and greasiest neighbors. Nice. And Spam's Grocery. Winter season go. Not sure how you're gonna survive the long holidayless stretch until Valentine's Day? Not to worry. Spam's Grocery has you covered. Keep the winter cheer alive with your favorite holiday foods. Sales on your favorite holiday foods. Treat yourself to a discounted novelty sized candy cane, but this time without the excuse. And as we ready those New Year's resolutions, Spamps is your one stop shop for. Mmm. Bland foods, I guess? Bland foods that you know you should be eating, but don't because they taste like cardboard. Happy New Year from Spamps. Right, so hopefully that keeps the lights on for a little longer. You have a 
designated driver for tonight, right? Wah, wah. A peaceful herd of Splatosaurus. Happy New Year. You're on with Steph. Oh, wow. Hi. I have a major problem I'd love your help with. Oh, boy. My college minor was in major problems. Let's hear it. Okay. It's about a Christmas present I got this year from my grandma. Ugly sweater. Let me guess. Peer pressure has you scared to wear the ugly sweater, even though you actually love it to death. I wish you were that, honestly. My grandma bought me a $4,000 video camera with the lighting rig. Yo, let's go. I know. I don't want her paying for that. She's a retired grocer. But it's not just about the expense. For a while, I wanted to be a movie director, and grandma super latched onto it. DVDs, filmmaking books, online courses. Now this. I'm guessing you're not as into filmmaking anymore? Honestly, the more I've learned about the industry, the more I question if it's really something for me. So what do I do? Return the camera and just roll over her feelings with the truck? I will consult the cosmos. Who boy. Tell me something good, D20. A 12 doesn't tell me much. Oof. What does one do with an overexpensive gift? Hmm. I mean, you could always be an indie filmmaker, you know? You don't necessarily have to go Hollywood. Fuck it, keep the camera. Cosmos consulted. I'm braced for it. You keep the camera. Even though it hurts your insides thinking about how much grandma paid. Uh... And since the gear's taking up half your bedroom anyway, you start putting it to good use. Maybe a video blog with grandma? You start a video blog and kick it off by interviewing the person who made it all possible. Grandma would actually love that. Hell yeah. She tells you all about her childhood, which is already interesting enough. But it's her sweet demeanor, yet shockingly salty language that makes it go viral. Soon, you forget all about the pressure you put on yourself to be a filmmaker. And you just have fun making stuff. There you go. And you start to think, maybe Grandma knew exactly what she was doing when she bought it for you. Duh. Of course. Right. I've just got to use it. Thanks for helping me see that. It's what I do. I know I say this every New Year's, but this was a fucking crazy year. You guys better see what's going on around the store. What could fit under the front door? Maybe concert tickets? Interesting, but before that, let's see what's up with Violet. So, um, hey, holy shit, hey, how are you? Good, you know, it's tourist season, so Telluride is crawling with ski bros. How are you? Yeah, I'm not bad, actually. Got invited to GM a LARP. Ooh, haha, <laughs> of course you did. I've been thinking about how, uh, I've been thinking a lot about how things ended. Kind of sucked, huh? Haha, <laughs> I mean, it could have gone way worse. Well, yeah, I guess so. I just started seeing someone new. It's going really well, and I like her so much. But, like, I don't know. You and I had so much fun. I miss ya. I miss you, too. Wanna be bros? <laughs> wow. Being friends with your exes. Primary gay trait. Valid point. Congrats, by the way. You deserve to be happy. How's that all going for you? Well, what? Dating? Think I'm taking myself off the market, honestly. At least for now. That might, be, uh, that might end up being really good for you. I'll def get more done if I'm not staring at this app all damn day, that's for sure. Hey, I'm glad we're bros now. Me too. It is New Year's, my dude. Time to share your resolution, oh boy. 
figure out what comes next. Done with the small town DJ life already? Nah, not yet, but someday. I want to have something to look forward to until then. That sounds really nice. Anyway, how about you? Oh, dude, I have so many. First of all, gonna get out of telly. Not sure how far out of telly, but I'm ready for a taste of that city life. Next, I want to do a gallery show. Let people see my video collages. And maybe be a little less intense about my crushes. <laughs> hey, let's be encouraging. <laughs> All the faith in the world in you, kid. I'll try not to let you down. Oh, and hey, there's a house show in Boulder on the 12th. Cannibal Cervix, Passive Agrippa, the Skeeves, wanna come? Do I get to meet your new chick? Duh, doy. And hell yeah, I'm in. Hell yeah, you are. Well, that's good. I'm glad you two reconciled, at least. Oh, speaking of people I might potentially reconcile with, Fiona. I was not doing so hot last time we talked. Maybe I should let her know I'm okay. Mmm. Yeah. Hey, geez, this is kind of an awkward message to send that I've already committed with a hey. Just want to let you know I'm alright. Ish. Lol. Hey, it's actually really good to hear from you. And really good to hear that you're doing okay. How is theater? Still acting? Yep, remember when I told you about the production of A Christmas Carol? Just had our last performance. Oh nice, which goes for you? None, actually. I was Scrooge, yo? Nice! Lady Scrooge, what will they think of next? So, uh, about that. But doing a little reflection and like... I don't know. Uh, this is hard. Oh, boy. Take your time. Doesn't have to be a big thing. Oh, wow. Yo, let's go. Have you picked out a name? Fair. Fair point. Quentin. Hmm. That's a that's a pretty big deal, though. I'm, you know, I'm at least glad that Fiona. Uh, well, you know, I guess Quentin now. Excuse me. Um, felt comfortable enough with me to tell me that. That fucking rules. Um, think I might visit Oregon. That's a loaded question. Oh, fuck no, of course not, but I know a way to find out. And the dating app life, how's that going? Ha, it's not. Honestly, I barely touched it in months until today. Thinking about deleting my profile, TBH. Oh, shit, I'm late for work. Lol. Hey, I'm really glad you reached out. Same. Let's hang out again sometime? Abso-fucking-lutely. Hell yeah. That'd be really cool. Look at Steph mending fences. Better be grateful. This cost me three whole dollars. Valkyrie only uses this when I'm not looking, which doesn't hurt my feelings whatsoever. Yo, Steph's really spruced up this back room. Holy shit. I did a bunch of work on my song. I think it's finally finished. Let's have a listen. You 
Mistakes are piling at my feet. Just push them down into the grass. It's a long way to travel. It cuts through the mountains. Arcadia abdicates its hold over me. So the first step to catch the path should be in company. Me, I'm with you. Yeah, you, you're with me. It's a long way to home, and it cuts through the mountains. Color desaturates, sunlight subdues. But the first snow to catch the light falls on a precipice. A point of perspective to plan the next move. It's a really nice song, actually. My little idea has grown up into a whole ass song. Maybe I should share it with someone. Hmm. Play it on the radio. Fuck it. Put it out into the world. Hey, KRCT listeners. Got a special treat for you. Here's a world premiere by a talented up-and-comer who might just be finally getting her shit together. Let me know what you think. I know I say this every New Year's, but this was a fucking cr Nothing quite like being artistically shown up by a 10 year old to start your year off right. Guess I could hang out here and ask myself if I'm going to the office party tonight. Up oh, here's the standy. The result of wine night with Charlotte, if memory serves. Man, even when she's drunk, Charlotte has a whole lot of fucking talent. That's ridiculous. Oh, dang. I'm gonna have to put another t-shirt order in. Guess I finally clicked with the customer base. Mikey's been sketching his favorite moment of each session. It's freaking great. The Executioner Priest begins chanting. Blood to oil, breath to steam. Blood to oil, breath to steam. Elamon readies the bow, but doesn't fire just yet. We submit this offering to you, Almighty Owl Lord Quixby. Fire. Critical hit. The bolt pierces the priest's neck and impales him against the altar. Yeah. Wait. Owl Lord? 
His name is Quixby. Once renowned for his wisdom and knowledge, he was driven from the Sky Council after the Great Cloud Schism and has sworn revenge. Quixby is harvesting the collective knowledge of New Eden so he can complete his weather machine and turn the skies black for a thousand years. He might be nocturnal, but now it's my turnal. Wow. That sounds like a joke I would make. He's going to be a badass LARP prince. Damn, Mikey. Quixby's second in command really tore Elamon up. And he's not even at the cloud chamber above the tower yet. Let's see here. Minus six stamina. Haze of war for another four, three, two turns. Chest and leg armor broken. Wand of Lost Royalty also broken. No summoning? Use the Amulet of Holly's Grace already. Wow. The final battle. The big bad, duh. Level 10 Acolytes times 5. Level 7 Void Hounds times 3. Traps, Sigil of Petrification, Center of Room. Spring Blades, Corners of Room. Mist of Weathering, 360 around big bad. Sheesh. Steph pulling out the big guns. hearing my song on the radio. Maybe I'm ready for something like this. The Black Beast of Haven, Facts and Fiction by Jessica Martinez. I'm not the superstitious type, said season type and minor Jim Williams, who celebrated his 10 year anniversary with the company in October, but I know what I saw and it wasn't natural. Haven residents young and old know the story of the Black Beast, a local legend with legitimate roots in history. The story began in July of 1944, following a, uh, following a disastrous incident at P. Oddly's Traveling Circus, in which a panther killed at least two performers while escaping into the mountains. And while the Black Beast has been the subject of many campfire stories and playground dares, actual sightings of a dangerous animal in the surrounding mountainside have increased over the past several years, enough to raise concerns. Ooh. Thanks for the heads up, Kasha. Is that what? Okay, weird. Because I can just read it off of the thing then. Steph, I just spent the last four minutes laughing my head off. Good lord, which rock did you find that record under? Suppose you want some context. When I was a great deal younger and slightly prettier, Horace Grassley became utterly infatuated with me. I was mortified, of course. He'd written me a dozen songs over the years, but in 1970, the man wrote a whole damn musical. I never went anywhere. Or it, or it never went anywhere, excuse me. He performed it once at the Civic Center, and then self-financed the record in a book of sheet music, but it thankfully faded into obscurity afterward. You know, it's strange. For years, the record, that musical, that man, they made me so angry. But with a handful of decades, I might even feel a bit of affection for it. Wish someone had told me when I was younger that the things that hurt the worst would someday be rendered toothless by time, much like me. I suppose I'm telling you now, so that's almost as good. Wow, Kasia. Hitting it real deep. Gabe ran into a pole doing bike tricks to make me laugh. Mission accomplished. Whoops. Haven't served Valkyrie her New Year's Eve treat yet. Is there a way to do that? Well, KRCT's officially got a new logo by yours truly. Music you love around the clock with very little BS. Except for the whole psychic thing, right? Give Valkyrie her New Year's treat. Only the best smoked salmon for my little terror. What's New Year's for if not stuffing your face with junk food? Fair point. Extremely rainbow, extremely body. Just like Violet promised. Yeah, I'm definitely bringing this back for next year. You better, that'd be pretty sick. Turns out every record I had on hold for myself was the perfect holiday gift for one of my friends. Oh, apology letter, hello? I'm glad Quentin and I reconnected. But really, I was the one who needed to figure out my shit. 
Steph, I never meant to cross a line with you, but I know what I did was uh, what I did was inexcusable, and I know I hurt you. I've got a lot to a lot of shit to figure out with how I treat people. I'm so sorry. Mm, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Quentin. Violet borrowed this for me on our second date. That girl is literally always freezing. Super glad we're still bros. Bye. Misty looks a little creepy. But once you get to know her, she's actually armless. <laughs> but um thrift shop fine. Ugly as sin, comfy as hell, and probably bed bug free. Yeah, I'd like to be a little bit more sure about being bed bug free if you don't mind. Dang it, Ryan. I tried to help you, bro. Operation Get Ryan Laid. <laughs> Operation Write Ryan a nice non-threatening smolder bio. Outdoorsy hunk seeks partner in crime. Don't know about mentioning crime. Amateur ornithologist. Be my lovebird. Lovebirds are actually noisy, aggressive, etc. Maybe be my cockatiel? God damn it, Ryan. If you're looking for a Colorado himbo with a heart of gold, look no further. What's a himbo? Oh, God. Oh, Ryan. Oh, Ryan, you sweet summer child. Heterosexual ISO, other heterosexual for heterosexual activities. Okay, now you're not even trying. <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh, Ryan, I love you. You absolute nerd. I'm sure it'll go better than, you know, trying to figure out Charlie's dating profile on Always Sunny. If it turns out I sold more bird call CDs than punk records this year, I'm gonna give Ryan a wedgie. Damn, Mikey. Why did you turn into such a grown-up? Steph, thought you might like a reminder of how far we've come. Aw. Wow, that's legit. That's like, that's on the quad for fucking, um, Blackwell Academy. That's like, legit back from the before the storm days. Wow, what a throwback. Oh, trying to get to the thank you note. There we go. Sorry, Riley, but that horse had to go. Dear Steph, thank you so much for the delightful vintage carousel horse. I think it's just the loveliest thing. Riley says it's creepy and keeps taking it out of the shop, but we'll see which of us has the last laugh. Aw. You stay vigilant, Eleanor. The carousel horse must survive. People here wear t-shirts in the winter and brag about not being cold, but those of us who've survived Seattle's death drizzle know better than to tempt the gods. Gotta add the latest game. Of course. Which means we're gonna play it. Match to close out the year. Of course we're gonna replay the game. Are you kidding me? Why would I replay the other ones and then skip this one? It doesn't Look, make any sense. Your fundamentals are solid. But your trash talk needs some serious improvement. As of this moment, you are enrolled in Professor Gabe Chen's Trash Talk University. Shit. Damn, man. Sounds prestigious. Okay, Professor. Teach me. Lesson one. Ha <laughs> ha! Get in your opponent's head. Be ruthless. Use their insecurities against them. Come on, his emo face. Shit! I was just thinking about that pic Shar showed me of your scene phase. Oh, fuck you. Was it hard to play foosball with your hot topic bangs obscuring your line of sight? Hey, listen, all right? <laughs> okay, let's move on to lesson two. Whoops. You gotta Damn it. Your bragging muscles. Really just blast a guitar solo right in their stupid face, you know? Dude, what do you know about flexing? Do you even lift, bro? <laughs> Whatever. I can lift more than you. Do you honestly believe that's true? You want to test me? Lesson three. When all else fails, schoolyard insults are your best friends. Boom! Thanks for the lesson, professor. How'd I do? I've taught you all I can. The student has become the master. Should all the acquaintance be forgot? Uh, 
My sweet, precious children, no one will hurt you here. The folks who buy rap albums on vinyl are a rare and special group. I aspire to that level of coolness. I never really found religious music inspirational. And then I saw how much money these bands make. How does Ducky make all of this stuff while also spending every waking minute of his life at the bar? Maybe time travel. Yeah, somebody in this universe having time travel powers would be ridiculous. Wink, wink. Charlotte and I were not built for that meditation class. Felt like termites were chewing up my fucking legs. Was this worth 1999? Yes. If someone told me when I started this random ass job that we'd get popular enough to sell merch, I would have punched them in the foot. Hey, another Critical Role reference. I see it. Hope I've done the old place proud. Damn. We had a good time together that day. Managed to do three late night practice sessions this week. It's actually kind of nice playing in an empty store. I guess the only thing to do now is to... Oh, wait, there's a couple things up here. The death metal holiday album I put out isn't getting much play. And I have no idea why. That sounds like a perfect mashup of genres. Are you kidding me? People have no taste, I swear. So he's, like, killing his own people? What the hell? That's pretty dark. Maybe dark enough for a death metal holiday album? Never resented snow until it became my job to clear it. Hmm. Suspicious. Alright, what'd you do, Gabe? A fucking scavenger hunt on New Year's Eve? My friends are dorks. Steph, wait, what? Your friends put together a surprise scavenger hunt? And this is the first clue? You must have seriously great friends. Steph is witty, bold, and fun, but she's also a great listener. P.S. We're starting off easy. Don't look far. What a bunch of nerds. But I'm guessing it's something at the listening station, considering the all caps clue about listening. We're gunning for Charlie Brown with this level of decor. Getting pretty mushy, even for Gabe. One year ago, this brought us together. We were friends in a heartbeat. Okay, so... In a heartbeat. Maybe in the rap section? The folks who buy rap albums nope. on vinyl are a rare and special group. I aspire to that level of coolness. Beat, beat, beat. What could what could be indicated with a beat? Up, oh, wait, beat like percussion, like drums. Yep, there we go. Typical Ryan, making triple sure I get it. Ever since you started illuminating the future, your show has been a bright spot in people's lives. You've really made Haven shine again. Up, oh, no time to think about that right now. I've got a phone call to answer. Hey, hey Ducky. Ducky. Indeed it is. I'm calling with an inquiry about the future. <laughs> I'm seriously flattered. I'm inquiring about my gentleman's mortality wager. How macabre. You made a death bet with someone? Many years ago, my friends and I buried a chest of some value deep in the Nevada desert. We agreed that the last of us to remain alive would win the right to dig up that chest and claim its contents. Oh, it's wow. Arrangement, although it's admittedly fallen out of favor and legality. You may know it as a tontine. 
How many of you are left? How many of you are left? Three. Uh, plus me equals four. For now. I'll consult the fates and be right back. I'm so glad this is up to the D20 and not me. Bobblehead for luck? Four. Ooh. Sorry, Ducky. Four. Yay. So, Ducky's Todd team. Ducky, I'm back. Prognosticate away. Happily or sadly, your friends all continue to live this year, so you don't win your Todd team. You're certain? They're really old. Pretty certain. I give this prediction a bronze octagon. It's the highest level of radio psychic certainty known to man. I see. But thinking about your friend's death so much causes you to remember why you were friends with them in the first place. You decide to visit each of them over the year and have a great time reconnecting on a totally tontine free level. If I cannot be rich in gold, I will be rich in friendship. Thanks for calling, Ducky. Ducky fucking rules, man. He really does. Gotta keep looking. Where's that next clue? Huh, sure. You took a giant leap of faith and moved to a strange town where you forged a badass creative life for yourself. Find the next clue in the record bin that describes what you are. Oh? Maybe in the one that says Steph's picks? Ah, Yeah, I guess it would have been too easy. Um. Oh, here we go. I... Inspirational. I get it. <laughs> what? Thanks for selling yeah. comics. That's what I call awesome. Switchboard. Wow. Uh... Incredible. Okay. That clue's in here somewhere. Gee, I wonder if it's right there. Best friends. It says so right here. She's your real best friend. No point trying to pretend. I tried to compete. I admit defeat. It's a match made in hell. What can I say? Oh well. Oh, there you go. You solved the scavenger hunt. Your prize is on a shelf in the back. Sick? On a shelf in the back. Hmm, here? Nope. Up oh, in a box, Holy maybe? Shit. This is Yo! Whoever sits here does so by the beneficence of Steph Gingrich, Black Lantern regular and staple of the Haven community, and must yield their place to her upon request. You wonderful Sick. bunch of absolute geeks. Steph, the time has come for me to formally release you from your foosball oath. If or when you're ready to leave Haven, I won't throw a fit, I promise. On the other hand, though, maybe you've seen the little plaque screwed into some of the bar stools at fine taverns and er, at fine old taverns and such. Those seats are reserved for members of the community who, no matter how far they stray or how long they stay gone, will always have a spot at the bar when they return. Well, you're one of them now. You've earned it. Thanks for a great year. We love you, man. Swing by tomorrow and claim your stool. Oh my fucking god. That is so fucking sweet. Honestly. All right. I think it's about time to crack open that champagne. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Fuck, dude, that's so cool. That is so cool that they thought to do that just as just as a way to, you know, really make Steph feel like she's like really part of this. Uh, community. I fucking love that for her. Also, where's the champagne? I'm assuming maybe it's in the fridge? You know you've made it as a DJ when you're or maybe not. You expense a new fridge. Okay, but seriously, where's that champagne? I have no earthly idea. Gotta keep the new hires in check. If we ever get new hires. Wow. There it is. 
Okay, Jed. What have you hooked me up with? Oh, almost midnight. <laughs> I hope you have something to clean that champagne out of the carpet with. I love how that's my concern right now. Not that Steph's gonna be digging into a bottle of champagne by herself. Wherever you are. That was so cool of them to get her, like, an actual plaque, though. Fuck, that's so cool. Oh, hey, are we back in present day, I wonder? Because that's the outfit that Ryan was wearing when, um, Alex showed up to the record store, and there's Valkyrie on the hold list. Oh? Guess we've come back around to, you know, main story events. Yep, and that's Mountain Song, the LARP that she was going to do Shout in Denver. Shout out to anyone who sung along with that bridge. You're awesome. New releases in just a minute, but first, let's hear from you. Hey there, you're live on KRCT. How's it going? Hey, Steph. I heard you don't do fortunes anymore. Could you, could you make an exception? Sorry, those days are over. But why? Did something happen? Not really. Just started thinking life's more interesting if you don't try to predict everything first. <sighs> it's such a tiny question. All I want to know is which friend should I... The taller one. Thanks for calling. Wow. <laughs> question from Rochelle in Colorado Springs. How's Valkyrie doing? Val's doing great. She's completely moved in. She loves to sleep on my lap. She's scratching all the customers. I'm in heaven. <laughs> all right. Here's a new release from The Wednesday. Let me know what you think. Ooh, this is the song that was playing when uh, Alex came in. Because I remember they went from, um... Oh, she's looking for jobs in Seattle? But yeah, that was the song that was playing right before Alex came in to, you know, introduce herself. Hey, speaking of which. And that's it. Cool. That was a really nice side story. I love that. I'm really glad we got content based, like, primarily around Steph. That was five plus hours of recording. Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. I, like, okay, I honestly thought that was going to be shorter than it was. Granted, again, I'm the kind of person who has to look at every fucking thing in a game like this so I don't miss stuff but like damn that fucking that that was a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be um I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna really uh, release this all as one video or if I'm gonna split it into like two parts or something like that I don't know I guess you guys will know by the time uh, it actually comes out so but yeah that was a really nice side story you know It was really interesting to, like, get to know Steph more on, like, a personal level like that and, you know, all her struggles with dealing with the trauma of losing Rachel and Chloe and just how she just can't commit to something because, like, it gets too scary for her and her learning to kind of deal with that. Oh, 
Also, it was nice that they kind of rounded back out to, um, um, you know, when the original game's uh, story took place. And it just ended right back at that point where Alex came into the record store. I thought that was a nice touch to end it there. Sort of a love at first sight situation. You know, at least based on how I played the main game. <laughs> But this is really cool. I love that. I really love that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed also. Um, again, I don't know how long this is going to end up being, how much I cut out, or whether I release this in like parts or whatever. But hopefully you all enjoyed uh, just kind of hanging around Haven Springs one last time with, you know, everybody's favorite radio DJ slash uh, D&D game master. That was a lot to take in though, like Jesus. And that's it, that's Wavelengths in the books, which means I've basically done everything I can with this game. Um, at least as far as actually playing it through on the channel, because I went through in my, in my uh, own time, like off screen, before I did Wavelengths, and I got the last few collectibles I needed for the Platinum Trophy for the PS4. So, yeah, that's basically it for this game. Um, Thank you once again to Square Enix and Rainmaker GG for providing the code for this game. Really appreciate it. I love this game. I fucking love this game. I really do. Um, there was a lot to process throughout both the main story and wavelengths, but, you know... I'm really glad I played this. I really... I really am. Life is Strange just has a way of getting to me, you know? But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment down below, even if you just want to say hi, you know, whatever. And I guess I'll see you in whatever I upload next. Be sure to drink water, everybody. See you in the next video, friendos.